Baldwin wowed us on the field with his playmaking, his intensity, and his passion. Well, now he's channeling all of that and giving back to the Cascade Benson area of Renton, a place Baldwin moved as an undrafted rookie back in 2011, a place that wrapped its arms around him. And when Baldwin talked to kids in that area, they said there was nowhere to go. Really, there wasn't much to do. It wasn't much of a uh, of the program and, and hub for the community, if you will, that I had back home in Florida. And you know, I thought hmm, maybe that'd be a good idea someday to, to bring that to life here. And now we're here. Baldwin has been working on this with the city of Renton for five years. The Family First Community Center will be built right next to Cascade Elementary in Renton, serving families where 12% of the population lives below the poverty line and 20% is 14 years old or younger. With help from the city of Renton, First Financial Foundation, the state, Baldwin's $1 million and others, they have come up with $10 million. They still need another $5 million to complete this facility. Baldwin hung out at a similar community center while growing up in Pensacola, Florida. And for him, it provided much needed support, becoming his extended family and a key to his success. Just providing that love and, and unconditional support that, you know, it's just uh, you, you need from family. You know, you need from a community and from your tribe. And, um, that's what that created for me, you know, more so than just the physical lo location, the physical facility. It was about the people who invested in me. And he is invested. Baldwin is still living in this area. He cares deeply about it, and he desperately wants to see this Family First Community Center get built. So if you would like to help, we put the, the website up on the screen. Go to RentonFoundation.org. Donations, big and small, they all make a difference. And this will have an immediate positive impact in a community that really needs it. And you say he also opened up about his football career coming to an end and really like what's next for him. So I have interviewed a lot of professional athletes. Mm -hmm. He is the most interesting. You know, he was so candid about his favorite accomplishment during his time with the Seahawks, about what's next now that his football career is over, if he'd ever get into politics, many want him to, and how becoming a husband and father has impacted his perspective. It's one of the many in-depth stories we're gonna be sharing on your favorite Seahawks players, we call it Seahawks Off the Field. Those stories will start airing during our pregame coverage before Thursday Night Football on Fox. That starts Thursday, September 26th. We are already counting down Bradley McDougal, DJ Fluker, Michael Dixon, LJ Collier, just some of the players that we will be highlighting. Yeah, this. just another reason to root for them. I love yeah. these And stories. get to know them, right? Like we see them on Sundays. Now you kind of get to know their personalities and their backstories. Lots